Special thanks to Claire G and Theo R for their help in the making of this video. Yeah! Hey folks, welcome to another Adventure Survival class video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Potion Masters of the Adventure Survival world. The clever, the eccentric, the mysterious, or not, alchemists. Good look in there. I know this is probably pretty exciting, but I wanted to do a little example of some of the exciting things that sometimes can happen when people mess around with material. Alrighty, well I had to pull that little experiment because the foam was actually uh, kind of starting to overtake the, the bounds of where I put the experiment, but I hope that caught your interest. So you might be thinking a little bit about what makes an alchemist so exciting. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about what Alchemist is in the game. Uh, then we'll look at who might want to choose Alchemist as a class. Then we'll go over what you need to earn it. And then finally, the best part, what you get when your character chooses the class of Alchemist, the special extra features that you earn. Alchemists are students of the material world. They study the world around them. Uh, they look for magical potential and resources, and they use that knowledge to create something then that's larger than the sum of its parts. Uh, they brew healing potions for an injured party member, or they might brew a uh, potion of flying to allow another individual to, to fly through the sky for an hour. Uh, they are in tune with magic, but it's a little bit different than the way, like, say, a warlock or a sorcerer is. They use their power of knowledge and of observing the world around them to create potions. It's not like they have this talent, this instinct that's just inside of them. Uh, but this all comes from the study of magical materials and the knowledge of knowing how to, to combine them together to make something interesting. Who might want to be an alchemist? Good question. The one word that I would use for any alchemist is curious. If your character is curious, if they like to poke around, they like to explore, uh, then Alchemist might be the class for you. If your character likes to discover, they like to collect, they might enjoy being an Alchemist. If you thought about maybe being a crafter, but you were like, eh, you know what, I still maybe want a little bit of magic, then Alchemist might be the right choice. All right, you decided Alchemist is for me. Well, what do you need to become an Alchemist? Like any class, you need a collective stat of 32. Uh, after that, you need to be able to explain a little bit about how your character learned their alchemist skills. Because this is like a teachable skill versus, you know, being struck by lightning and having the god of thunder give you lightning powers. Or making a deal with a giant talking space hamster to turn you into a warlock. There's a lot of different ways you might have learned these skills. Um... You know, maybe your character was wandering through the woods and met a hermit, and, you know, the, the hermit, she taught your character the skills of alchemy. Maybe your character was traveling in a city, and there's just like a big, big alchemical uh, trading company that was hiring, and your character got a job there, and always been fascinated by alchemy, and learned the skills on the job. Now that you have the class, here come special skills. As an alchemist, you can brew a low-level potion every day in-game, and you can brew, brew a high-level potion every two days in-game. And take note, so high-level and low-level relates to the power and the strength of the potion. Uh, when you're talking about, like, say, a high-level spell, you can only cast a high-level spell usually about once a day in-game. However, so you can make a high-level potion and, you know, put it in your pocket. Make another high-level potion put in your pocket. Let's say you brew two potions of teleportation. Normally, teleportation is a high-level spell, 
so you can only use it about once a day in game. However, you take the time, you've brewed your two teleportation potions, then you could pop the top, plug it back, teleport, and then get your thing, realize, oh, oh, we're out of here, pop the top, teleport again. So, remember that that relates more to the power level than how often they can be consumed in the game. It's also you learn something called sigils. So sigils are sort of an image-based, touch-based paper magic. So you draw the symbol onto the piece of paper that represents the spell. The spell then needs to be charged in some way. You have to do something exciting, something that brings emotions forth. Uh, once it's been charged up, it need only be applied and then activated. So for instance, let's say your character, the alchemist, is traveling through the snowy wilderness, and so they've drawn an image of, like, a lightning bolt. And so as they're walking along, an abominable snowman jumps out and attacks them. So that will charge the sigil. At that point, all the alchemists do is slap it on the ground, and then all of a sudden, this bolt of lightning comes crashing down, scaring the abominable snowman and allowing your character to sort of dive into a snowbank, get away, and uh, find safety. So, sigils can be pretty useful. They generally have to be touch-based. You have to put the paper on something, um, and you have to prepare the symbol ahead of time. But, it's a pretty useful skill that can come in handy. Uh, finally, alchemists have the ability to identify whether a object or something has magical potential. So if they find something, an item, or maybe a resource, they can use their alchemist score, which is their dexterity doubled, and they can then try to identify whether something has magical potential. Um, so I think that's about it for the alchemists. They are a pretty interesting class. If you're looking for something that maybe you like to build things, you like to kind of make things, but you know, you, you also want to be able to do a little bit of magic mixed in. If your character's curious, likes to explore the world around them, likes to, ex to collect, likes to gather, then Alchemist would be the class for you. So, I think that wraps up another Adventure Survival video. Uh, it's actually, if you've been watching them in the order that they've been released, then this is the last class video. So, I would love to hear from folks to find out maybe what type of uh, video might be good to start on next. I hope you guys learned a bunch about alchemists, and I hope you have a fun time if you choose to make your character an alchemist, and uh, I'll see you real soon. Game on.